It pains me to even share this with you. Soft, smoky drift. Basta yun na yun. <laughs> to a lover. <laughs> Hi beautiful people! I hope you're all well and safe. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Baibea. Most of you have requested for me to do this episode. It's probably because you love perfumes as much as I do. Because ako, I have been collecting for years, ranging from like cheap colognes to the more expensive ones or what they call the niche perfumes. Ibig sabihin po, ito yung mga perfumes na mahirap hanapin. But since I love perfumes, I really go out of my way to find them. Hindi ko alam kung karamihan ganito, but napansin to na mga, mga um, classmates ko, even back in high school pa. Now, whenever I would tell them stories, hindi nawawala yung sense of smell. Meaning, kapag nagkwento ko about Christmas, laging may amoy ng puta bumbong or whenever I would recall a certain memory with friends. It always involves something that I smelled at that specific time. Because really, it does remind you of that period of your life where probably you felt happy or maybe it was your first kiss, maybe a promotion. So today, I will give you um, a brief tour of my perfume collection and I will tell you about the things that I do remember about that specific moment in my life. This is Scent Associations. So, ito yung mga bottles that I have collected through the years, but marami pa dito yung wala. Addicted ako to scents. Alam ko, privilege to, at alam ko marami magtataas ng kilay dito. But sometimes, I even wear perfumes to sleep because I wear perfumes not for other people, but for myself. But I will start with, ito, I've never shared this with anyone, not even to my friends or my colleagues. I think this is my signature scent. It pains me to even share this with you. Lalaba Santal 33. It has this leathery, musky, earthy tones to it. It smells like an open fire. That soft, smoky drift. Ano ba sabihin? Ang hirap na. Basta yun na yun. <laughs> no, but it has that leathery smell to it. Because it's unisex. To me, it's para assertive. Sabi nila kasi, di pa nagdedepende dun sa body chemistry mo. This suits my body chemistry the best. So there was this one time, si Brent Sales, my hairstylist, is also the hairstylist of Sarah Heronimo. There's this one time na pagpasok daw ni Sarah, hinahanap niya, oh, nasan ako, akala niya nandun ako sa dressing room nila. Yung pala yung naaamoy niya, yung hair extension sa ginamit sa akin ni Brent the day prior. Parang it, it actually um, reminds people of me kapag ginagamit ko tong Santal 33. Alam mo, hindi to ka OAN, pero even my friends, yung mga naging staff namin sa Allowed to Last, alam nila pag pumasok ako sa elevator at lumabas kasi naiiwan yung amoy na to. And I'm not even exaggerating. So another favorite of mine from Lalabo is this one, Rose 31. Masam siya, feminine, and it's very sensual. I wore this when I was in Macau, when I was awarded as one of the Up Next Stars. This will forever remind you of that moment. Um, this one, man. This is from Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. Also very sensual. Again, I usually wear this at night whenever I'd go out with friends or whenever I'd go out on a date. It's just that, but it makes me feel more flirty. <laughs> Na may sa akin to ni Papa P before when he did a show abroad. Sabi niya, ano yan? Tapos hindi ka siya, hindi ka sinasabi because sabi nga nila, never reveal yourself para hindi ka magaya ng iba. And then, another one of my favorites is this. Hindi ko alam how it's really pronounced. This is from Christian Dior. The Cashmere. So, I got this when I went to Paris on my 30th birthday. They had just launched this at that time. Actually, marami rin akong ibang ganitong bottles. As you can see, Granville. This was given to me at by Z. Granville. Ito yung ginagamit niya before. Siguro, I'll just define this as the type of feeling that you get when you're in like a cold place 
and you would bring your cashmere with you and then parang cuddle with someone. Pero pagdating ko sa Manila, ginamit ko siya. Amoy kalawang. Ewan ko, siguro yung humidity. So after that, hindi ko na siya ginamit sa Pilipinas. I would share this with you. Oh my God. Ito yung sinasabi ko medyo niche perfumes. This is Sancti. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. This was given to me by Christine Duque. Napanood niya to kay Estee Lalon. Ang story nito daw kay Estee Lalon, parang may dumaan na babae, tapos sinundan nila kasi sobrang gusto nila yung amoy. And then they asked the girl kung ano yun. And ito yun, Sancti. Since niche perfume nga siya, wala siyang like standalone store. It's very earthy, it's hard to explain kung ano ang boy niya. But again, it's very sophisticated. To be honest, hindi siya yung everyday na perfume mo. Para sa akin na, ah, this would be the perfume that I would wear to like an awards night or a premiere night or if I'm gonna go out to have dinner at a fine dining restaurant. Baka ganun. Pero yung mga lalaki hindi nila gusto to. Like I wore this once and then there, there was this guy who said, I don't like that perfume on you. But I don't care. <laughs> and then the next that I will share with you is this one. This is from Hermes. I don't know how to really pronounce this, but Un Jordan Sur de Toi. <laughs> I tried, guys. <laughs> Kakatapos lang ng premiere night ng The Mistress, and then I had to go to Nice. Tapos binili ko to sa airport. Actually, it smells like grass. It smells like summer. Ginagamit ko na siya whenever I go out, lalo na pag summer, tapos meron kang shoots. That's what this reminds me of. Grass. And then another one from Hermes is this one. Un Jardin sur la Lagoon. <laughs> so this was given to me by my manager, Shirley Kwan. This reminds me of the quarantine. This is what I have been wearing during the quarantine. Well, it smells very feminine, but this reminds me of power. So this perfume means empowered for me. Ay, ito. Sige, share ko na to. DKNY Women. I have been wearing this for years and years. Ito ang taping perfume ko. It's very energizing. Whenever I wear it, parang I feel like I should be on the go. Alam to nila Papa Ian. Favorite ni Papa Ian to on me. It's not that expensive, pero may rep siyang hanapin. In fact, si Angelica, when she traveled abroad, she bought like free yata for me. Ito yung pasalubong niya. Kasi nga, alam niya nag-hoard ako nito. And then another one from DKNY is this. Be delicious. I don't wear this anymore. It reminds me of Shayna. This is her perfume. It smells like, again, grapefruit and apples. It smells delicious. <laughs> From Chanel. Chanel Chance. Ito yung mga pang ano, pang pa sweet, pang date, kahit na daytime. <laughs> reminds me of Coco Chanel and Paris. And so I always keep one with me. I this one pala, ito may story to. I don't know how to pronounce this. Bosque, Bosque. I got this when I was in Barcelona. There was this store na parang adora nila doon. Basta, that was the time when I really splurged. One of the sales ladies there told me na parang niche na pabango siya. And so, I got it. It smells good naman, but parang it's not something that I wear every day. This probably reminds me of sunny, happy days when I was in Barcelona. And then, I also have this perfume from Philosophy, Living Grace. It's uncomplicated. It reminds me of the days when I was younger and I would just go to the mall with friends. The times when life was so much simpler. Ay, ito pala yung Chanel Chance na fresh. <laughs> well, it's a perfume, but it's for the hair. But I'm not gonna share with you everything. This one is from Diptyque. Oyedo. Alam mo man yung sinasabi ko, pero bahala na kayo. Just look at the video. <laughs> Basta, this is orangey. It's citrusy. I wear this whenever um, I go out with my friends, work out, or go to Pilates. Nakaka-energize. This one is also from the peak. Flora Bello. Hindi siya yung medyo heavy na floral. I, I don't like those kinds of perfumes. I also have my Tom Ford perfume collection. Uh, hindi man ako Alex sa Tom Ford. <laughs> this is not an ad. <laughs> I like their packaging. I also like the way it smells. I think it's very sophisticated. This one is one of my favorites from Tom Ford. It's fabulous. <laughs> this is very straight to the point. It smells 
fabulous. It has this decadent leathery smell to it. I wear this whenever I want to like give a good first impression. So at the fabulous. I got this on my way home from Macau during the same event that I mentioned kanina. Yung trip na yun was really unforgettable for me. I got this a gift from Tong for just recently. I think they just launched this last month or something. It's called Bitter Peach. I just like how it smells. It smells like fall. But it's not fall char. <laughs> this bitter peach reminds me of the quarantine when I had started working na tin ginamit ko nung first time ako lumabas ulit. This is also from Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. It smells like the ocean. It smells like summer. And I've never been to Amalfi Coast, but um, it's one of my dream destinations. That's why whenever I'd wear this, it, it makes me wonder of what it's like to be in Amalfi Coast. And also this one, Mandarino, the Amalfi from the same line. It gives you that just got out of shower set. I like it. It's very fresh. So I also have here my Jo Malone perfume collection. This is a sweet scent. It's Nectarine Blossom and Honey Cologne. I was wearing this the entire time that I was doing the love affair and kahit malayo ka na haamoy ka nila and whenever you'd go into like a room full of people ikaw yung manginibaba yung scent. Medyo popular si Jo Malone sa pagmix ng perfumes so what I usually mix is this the Oud Bergamo and Dark Amber and Ginger Lily and whenever I'd use these, I'd also use this Velvet Rose and Oud Dry Body Oil. Ginagamit ko to pag winter ulit kasi medyo woody and medyo earthy. Medyo ano siya, medyo masculine. I like wearing this kapag naka-suit ako or when I want to power dress. So I also like mixing peony and blush suede with wisteria and violet. Ito naman yung medyo florals. For example, I'd like to wear something more feminine like um, itong dress na to. Ito yung susuotin ko. And I also have a line for Kashika. Ito talaga yung medyo in effort namin gawin. So I named it Beautiful. Beautiful body, mind, and soul. I have two colognes and also one EDT. Parang kaka-shower mo lang and you feel fresh. Um, I'm talking about the beautiful body. So para siyang body mist. Yung beautiful mind naman, parang mas um, floral and mas deep yung scent niya than the beautiful body. So this one is an EDT. So, ibig sabihin, mas magtatagal siya than regular clothes kasi mas mataas yung oil content niya. And my producer said it smells like warm cotton and powder. So, fresh yung amoy niya. Hindi siya heavy, so you can wear this every day. So, you can get these sa uh, Kashika or Bench stores or yung mga stores of Sir Ben. It's still out. There are perfumes that I haven't mentioned na wala siya dito kasi naubusan na ako. But one of those perfumes is Gypsy Water from Byredo. I like that because it's a fun perfume, Gypsy, and so it reminds me of travels, it reminds me of New York. I also don't have Penhaligon's Empresa anymore. Naubus ko na siya. But that perfume reminds me of that time when uh, meron kaming premiere night sa Hong Kong and Singapore of A Second Chance. I usually wear it with the lotion as well. It's very dreamy. It's um, feminine. It's I don't know, it gives me that feeling of victory. So there you have it. Of course, wala dito yung mga favorite perfume ko growing up, like Nanuko, Johnson & Johnson, sa inyong mga gusto natin, Angel's Breath. Sana, you can bear with me because there are, talaga, there are perfumes that I cannot even explain ko anong scent niya. It's really subjective. There are even perfumes or certain scents na gusto mo kahit na para sa iba mabaho, di ba? But of course, I do play favorites when it comes to my perfumes. Aside from, of course, my line, I won't include this anymore in my top 5 list. To go to the top 1 would be Santal 33. This is my top 1. My top 2 would be... Ang hirap nito, but um, I'll probably just get the Bitter Peach from Tom Ford. Top 3 would be Sancti. It's not for everyone. Ano siya eh? Acquired taste. <laughs> top 4 would be... Victor and Rolf. 
Top 5. It's a toss between Hermes or Chanel. Siguro para bigyan ng ano, mas may range from citrusy to earthy. Eto. So, yan. Yan ang top 5 ko. Medyo mahirap kasi taga, I really wear perfumes according to my mood. Siguro yung suggestion ko is to not follow trends but to stick to what makes you feel good because it's all about what feeling it gives you. Pagdating naman sa pag ng perfumes nyo, probably wear it as much as you can kasi sabi nila pag medyo matagal na, di ba parang nagiging amoy alcohol na yung perfumes. And do not store it in hot places. Make sure malapit siya sa air conditioning nyo or na siya sa area na hindi masyadong naaarawan. <laughs> to a lover. Wala siya dito. Panhalagon sa Impresa. And, eto, Granville. Etong Santal, it makes me feel happy because it brings me back to the memories when I was so busy with work. And when I'm at work, I'm in my element and I feel the happiest when I'm at work. But also this one reminds me of the happy days when I was in um, South of France. I was in a long-term relationship and it reminds me of our happy memories. Siyempre, ninuko and ano, but this one. Because I started wearing this nga when I was a teenager. <laughs> Penhalagons Empresa. Kaya hindi ko na yung sinusot ngayon. Probably this one, Nectarine. Because I this is the perfume that I wore when my family and I traveled in Europe. I thought it was Rose 31 because or Gypsy Water. I don't know, but it's very complex. It's, it's not a goody goody type of scent. It's not really bad. It's not sensual, but it's everything wrapped into one. Depending on my wedding. Ko. Siguro, kung daytime beach, I'd wear the Portofino or the Mandarino. If it's a garden wedding, I'd wear Chanel Chance. But if it's going to be a church wedding. Santal 33 friends, just because it's my favorite scent. And plus, it's not too feminine, so it gives me that feeling of being one with my partner and not just being a woman or a second class. Second class, I just said go citizen child. <laughs> just because it makes me feel empowered and that we would go on life together as one. I hope you liked this episode, and if you did, Please hit like and please subscribe. Life is beautiful, guys. Don't forget that. Mwah, mwah.